السلام عليكم ولكم تنام في مجلس نيوزي ديشن دهلينس Agreement signing ceremony with 16 selected project university For international scene Rwanda 127 day flowing in the this in the west of the country Those with Helens and welcome to the national news. In accordance with the Article 12 and 21 of the uh, Rules of Procedure of the, the National Assembly, the Conference of President of was held uh, this Tuesday, May 4, 2023, led by the President of the National Assembly, His Excellency the Later Mohammed the Later, in the presence of the Prime Minister, His Excellency Dukal Khan Mohammed, the Minister of Defense, responsible for, for relations with the Parliament, His Excellency Hassan Umar Mohammed. The audience also composed. Uh, uh, of two vice presidents, the chairman and, uh, and chairwomen of political group, a standing committee, and the general reporter of the PC Considerity, uh, the organization of the deputy section, uh, and shouldered for Saturday, uh, May, Sunday, May uh, 17. Uh, seven. Finally, the conference of the president deliberate, uh, deliberate on the transmission of the two uh, pending drive laws. Uh, to a competent standing committee. The sectorial center of vocational training in transport and logistics at Bulbala had the privilege of receiving Moroccan delegation from the Moroccan Agency for International Cooperation and the Office of Vocational Training and Promotion of Work. Uh, this fruitful meeting uh, is part of a partnership project uh, between uh, Menfob and Morocco uh, to strengthen the file of technical uh, education and vocational uh, training. Uh, welcomed by the director of the center, Mr. Mohamed Dadosh Kardon, uh, made uh, a presentation on the activity and the action plan uh, at the end of this uh, very rich exchange. The Moroccan delegation uh, had uh, guided uh, to of the facility uh, of the CFOB and the educational workshop and the simulators. The delegation then visited uh, the sectoral center of vocational uh, training in construction and public uh, work. For several years, this uh, uh, center is sectoral center of vocational training uh, initiated by the state intended to become uh, a real role pole of ex excellent support uh, at the national and regional uh, level. Let us note that the fight against uh, the implement of the young people was the uh, set up uh, in the priority of the priority by our government. This is why the creation of the center and is the while of the president of the Republic, Excellency Hajis Mamregeli, and the committee of the Minister of Education for uh, and of vocational training with the aim of a uh, qualified human resource that uh, provide an enveloping support of the government. Uh, this uh, visit has serious uh, objective, uh, including the establishment of a uh, diagnostic of vocational uh, training in Djibouti, the identification of the country's needs, uh, and in terms of training infrastructure and support uh, in uh, pedagogical uh, engineering, and also the preparation of funding requests uh, for the construction of the three training uh, center. So, and uh, we have a coming key that talk about uh, the hedge, uh, the launch of the hedge 2023 uh, registration will uh, and uh, P, uh, which will take place from uh, uh, Monday, May 8 to uh, Tuesday, May 18 uh, at the Directorate of Muslim Affairs, Al uh, Hedge Department in the building agency uh, to the foreign affairs building. Uh, registration is open daily, excepted on Friday until uh, May 18. Uh, 2023. On Tuesday, May 4, 2023, the University of Djibouti hosted the signing ceremony of agreement with 16 project leaders selected in the second call for research project of the 2022 through the African Center of Excellence in Logistics and Transport Sale and its research center, including the Center Energy and Environmental Research. The Center of Research in Logistics and Logistics 
Logistique and Transport, the Center of Research in Mathematics and Numeracy, and the Center of Research in Humanity, Social Science, Language, and Literature. Uh, the ceremony took place at 10 and 10 a.m. in the conference room of the, of the um, Faculty of Engineering of the University of Djibouti. The signing ceremony was chaired by the President of the University of Djibouti, the Director of SIL, and the Director of the Research Center. It was also so marketed by the participation of project, of project leaders and personality from the academic world research. So in his speech, the President of the University say that uh, this event uh, marks uh, the concretization of the selected project and their uh, effective implementing the selected project over various themes such as uh, agriculture, health, environment, information, and communication technology, artificial intelligence, uh, transport, language, uh, cultural heritage, economy, and development, uh, and also in partnership with the university in France, uh, Morocco, and in the region. A portfolio of uh, 15 million people finally has been been allocated to all 16 projects. We have also the duration of the a person, those person who say this ceremony represents an important step of development of the scientific research in Djibouti and the promotion of innovation for the social economy development of the country. The 2022 evaluation section was successfully held with the participation of a committee of 25 international experts who have rigorously analyzed the file of 47 a candidate. As part of the large-scale operation to counter illegal immigration launched by the Djibouti government, the brief of the region of Alice Musa Adam Migeni held a meeting yesterday morning in his office at the prefecture with the Ethiopian authority at the border. The objective of this meeting was to set up a two a trained committee on distribution and Ethiopian side. The committee is responsible for monitoring and managing illegal immigration immigrants sorry turn back at the border the meeting was attended by the second deputy prefect mr umar idris suge the secretary for police and gendarmerie as well as the army PSA of the region also took the ethiopian authority at the border As part of the vast operation against Silver England, the by the Djibouti government, the meeting of room of the Secretary of State and for Sport hosted this morning a meeting of a consultation and preparation between the official of the sport and contested the organization of the second edition of the summer game. As usually, the summer game will start each year in July after that of June 27. Uh, after the success of the last edition, edition uh, which uh, attracted several hundred young people, the member of the tournament committee are pleased to renew the experience with a uh, redouble energy sharing the meeting. The technical advisor, Mr. Wahib Hamadou, stressed that it was an event uh, of a great importance that uh, the organizing association could count on uh, his uh, department to provide uh, them with a necessary means for the small terrain of this important uh, gathering of high-level athletes. Uh, several disciplines uh, will be practicing in the case of the volleyball, the basketball, traditional game, pitch sport, and others. It should be noted that the launch of uh, this uh, schedule for soon and the game will take place uh, during the uh, one month in the capital and the region and also the locality. We have also in the region seen and regional leaders appeal for extending Sudan of shaking so far in the Sudan. Please listen for more details with the Gasra. Appeal for extension of shaky ceasefire in Sudan taking advantage of relative calms many residents in Khartoum and the neighboring city of uh, Omdurman to emerge from the, the homes to seek food and water leading up uh, at uh, bakeries uh, stores after days of being trapped inside by the fighting 
between the armies and our rival uh, groups, uh, some inspected shops of homes that have been destroyed or looted. People for their basic needs in the city of uh, in the city of uh, Khartoum, people are helpless. Uh, they uh, bread and they there is no fuel and there is also no bread or water. Said uh, Fatal Rahman, a resident of uh, Omdurman, still gunfire and explosion could be here in the city through a residence said clashes were in morally mighty packed mainly around the military's headquarters in the Republican Palace in central Khartoum and around bases in Omdurman across the Nil River. And now for the international scene, we have the number of victims in Rwanda. The flu has risen to at least 127. Please listen for more details with Gasra. Victims in Rwanda's flu are rising to at least 127. Torrential rains have swept through the western, southern, and northern provinces, destroying homes and causing landslide. According to Rwanda authorities, most of the dead occur in the western province, bordering Rwanda's minister in charge of emergency management and announced that emergency relief was already on the way in neighboring Uganda. Uh, six people die in the west of uh, the country when landslides uh, their homes after days of uh, torrential rains, according to, to the local Red Cross. Experts said extreme water events are happening with increased frequency and identified due to climate change. Last month, at least 14 people died after heavy rains or flood and landslide in southern. For international scene, also we have in Nepal, Uganda, six people a day in the west of the country. Please listen. We have also a gas ram from the tells who killed eight fellow students and a security guard in a school in Serbia planned the attack for weeks and had a and had killed. According to police, the 13 years old was arrested following Wednesday's attack at the Vlaslav Primary Schools in Belgrade. The boy's father and mother have also been arrested. On those killed, seven of the victims were killed girls at the schools but uh, the motive for the attack is still unclear another six pupils uh, and the teachers were injured in the shooting for more boys and two girls a boy who was shooting in the neck and chest is said to have suffered the worst injuries while a girl is uh, in critical condition with a head injury Japanese uh, Prime Minister Fumio uh, Kishida uh, on Wednesday met uh, with uh, his uh, Kenyan counterpart William Ruto in Europe. Uh, for more reports with Gasra. Mr. Mr. Fumio Kishida on Wednesday met with his Kenyan counterpart William Ruto in Nairobi. The leader discussed the Russian invasion in, of Ukraine and the ongoing crisis in Sudan. Kishida reiterated his nation's desire to strengthen trade relations with Kenya in order to help to contribute and also uh, to the stability of the region. We would like to strengthen coordination with Kenya, which is contributing to the stability of the region as the country holding the G7 presidency, Japan would like to directly hear the voice of African countries and make sure that those voices are reflected in discussion G7. And Hiroshima summit this man said, Fumio Kishida, the Japanese Prime Minister, I therefore look forward, Mr. Prime Minister, to our discussion and I intend to that we shall make considerable progress on a broad range of uh, subjects that are of a mutual interest between Japan and Kenya, said Mr. William Ruto, the president of Kenya. That's it for this edition. Thanks for your attention and wonderful afternoon, evening.